Yeah, guys, so we're in uh, Passau, and we're uh, gonna head over to the Christmas markets, but first we remembered there was a cuckoo clock store that we wanted to see. And the best part about the cuckoo clock store is they have this sign out in front of their yeah, guys, so my battery died at an inopportune time, but uh, this is this is the, we just came out of the Cuckoo Clock store. We bought uh, we bought a couple of souvenirs, and this is the most hilarious part of the uh, of the sign. And uh, so I said to the guy, we love your sign, and he said, he was very serious, and he said, no, he said, we have to, you know, all these Cuckoo Clocks are handmade in the Black Forest, and, you know, he's, he's very proud of them, and they won the Clock of the Year in 2014 with this one right here. And uh, he was very serious. He said, no, he said, we have to do something to combat the fact that the uh, cuckoo clock makers in uh, Regensburg and Munich pay people to uh, to advertise their cuckoo clocks as opposed to ours. So uh, I feel very bad for him because they're obviously very, very skilled. Uh, and they, they ship and worldwide. They ship worldwide, yeah. So if you're ever in, if you're ever in, yeah, if you're ever in Passau, uh, stop at the cuckoo clock shop. If you find something that's expensive that, uh, that uh, you want to take home, no problem. They ship uh, worldwide with insurance, so you're you're uh, completely covered. You don't have to fly home with it. They'll they'll take care of it all for you. Actually, so uh, what they do is they give you a 10% discount if they're going to ship it for you, and then add 25. So something that was 60 was 50 plus 25 instead of the 60 plus 25. So yeah, so uh, so don't come to Regensburg in Munich to get your cuckoo clock. <laughs> no, I won't. All right, guys. So we uh, we decided to uh, we decided to scale the hill and pass out here. Uh, so we climbed up to see the castle. Castle is just over there, behind the uh, behind the lovebirds over there, and uh, so that's our ship down there uh, through the through the trees, the Viking tour, and this is the beautiful city of Passau. We climbed up the hill to see. So uh, that big onion dome cathedral there is uh, St. Stephen's. That's the one with the uh, with the organ in there, and uh, that's the Danube River in front of us. And uh, so we're. Uh, it's not really late in the day, but it's late in the year, so the sun's getting ready to set here. There's the Christmas markets in front of St. Stephen's. So we're going to. Uh, we're gonna head on up and see the castle now, but this is a spectacular view that we wanted to share with you while we were here. So, on the last day of our cruise down the Christmas cruise down the Danube River. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we uh, we actually shot across the way there to uh, a little bit better location for uh, for filming here. So uh, so that's what we did, and you can kind of see the where the two rivers split or come together, depending on which way you're going. And uh, our ship is once again down there through the trees. That's the beautiful city of Passau with the setting sun. So as the sun sets on the city of Passau, the sun also sets on our cruise. As this is our last day, very sadly. But we're not disappointed. We got to do everything we wanted to do, and that's all that matters. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a selfie here with the city in the background, and uh, and we'll see you down at the Christmas markets for the nighttime.